Two years later, most of Tom's friends, most of from the U.S. and the family, raised money towards the building of this mausoleum. Actually, a mausoleum is a resting place of a great person. They wanted to have this as a permanent memorial in honor of Tom. This is a bit symbolic. If you look at it from the base to the tip, it takes a bullet shape. And that would actually mean or tell the kind of death that Tom had faced. If you are keen at the door, there is a symbol of a coffin. That would tell the kind of uh, burial that Tom was given. Initially around this place, people used to bury using cow skins or maybe mats. But by the time of Tom's death, the coffin had been introduced. So Tom was not buried uh, using a cow skin or a mat as it used to be. Now, inside here, we have a few of Tom's collections. The presents, gifts, awards, mementos that he was given in various places. A lot of them are not here just because the house could not accommodate everything. At the far end is our family cemetery. Everybody who dies within the compound is buried there. But apart from that, there is this small grave here. This, an American friend of Tom, William X. Shenman. Shenman was very instrumental on the, most of Tom's development records, more so the airlift project. He was the one coordinating the airlift project. And he was actually uh, in charge of accommodation. You know, there was a lot of racism and the American government would not allow the African students to live together with their children or students in the same school. So Shane Mann was in charge of accommodation. He would talk to well-wishers who could accommodate the Africans as they go to school. Now, this is where we have a few of Tom's collections. And uh, right from the first cabin, we have Tom had an honorary certificate. Uh, this was uh, an honorary citizen certificate that was given to him by the mayor in 1956. This would allow him to be an honorary citizen of Kansas City. These are from the Kamba community where Tom was born and raised. Later, when he became a prominent person, he was uh, awarded with this. These are from the courier. Uh, and these were given to him by the Mombasa Dock Workers. There was a strike that was organized by the Mombasa Dock Workers. They wanted Tom to address them before calling off the strike. And these were mainly used during this limited period. Now, before the bridge, we had the chain ferry that was manually pulled by the chain. This is actually what carried Tom Hush from the mainland to the island. And uh, this was brought by former U.S. Ambassador Michael Renneberger. These are from the Maasai's. This was used before the mobile phone co for communication. And these are just a few of our vis filled up visitors' books. This is Tom's wedding certificate. Tom wedded on the 20th of January, 1962. And Tom's wedding was uh, presided over by Pope John the 23rd. And that was in Nairobi St. Peter's Clivers. Now, this is the actual briefcase Tom had in his hand by the time of shooting. He was carrying this. Tom became the first patron immediately after the colonial government went uh, the Mount Kenya Safari Club in Nuki. Then this is called Yatiti. Tom was a fan of music. Uh, this was given to him by the Luo community. Now, this Bible was a present or a gift given to Tom on his honeymoon. You know, Tom's wedding was actually funded by the Israel government. So after his wedding, he had his honeymoon in Israel, and he was given this. These are Kamba carvings. But then Tom and Pamela were crowned the Maasai elders. Now this is Tom's immediate family. This is Justice Maureen. Maureen is a judge at the Nairobi High Court. The late Peter was a great commercial lawyer. Tom Jr. is also a lawyer who works with Transparency International. Lucas is also a lawyer who works with ethics and anti-corruption. Susan is the president of Coca-Cola Worldwide. Susan is the wife to Dr. Ivan Skidero. Odero is Maureen's husband. Sigrid is Lucas' wife. Then Gladys is Peter's wife. These are Tom's grandchildren. Now this was brought by 
uh, the Kenya Navy Commandant Kibwana. This was brought in 1993. Then this one here is a bit recent. This was brought last year in December by the Kenya Defense Force College. Now this was a name plate on Tom's desk and this, this clock was given to him by the Kenya Railway. Uh, Tom had an honorary degree from the Roosevelt University in Chicago and uh, this is the flag that was used to wrap Tom's gasket. Now Tom had two flywheels, the black one, a flywheel normally symbolizes power or authority. The black one would symbolize the African color and then the white one stood for peace. Now when the Americans were launching the spacecraft in California, Tom was one of the guests. And uh, this is a trophy given to him by the Nairobi Dancing Committee as one of the best dancers. He was a fan of music. This is from the Hindus. And Tom laid a foundation stone in Narosura when they were putting up a farm organization training scheme on the 23rd of September 1967. This is from the Buddhist. Now this is a special gift from Queen Elizabeth, a Korean gift. This is also a special gift from the Israel government, a doll of Moses. The two are from India. Then these are called the Canal Balls. Tom was a member of Nairobi Bowling Club. Tom was installed an elder in Conakry, Guinea, in West Africa. Then Tom attended uh, Oxford University, a branch called Ruskin College. This is their logo. Then this is Mount Kenya Safari Club's logo. Then this one here, before we had the bridge, before we had the bridge and uh, the causeway and the chain ferry, we used to cross using the local boats from the mainland to the island. And lastly, you may sign our visitor's book. Uh, just to tell you are here as our guests. Otherwise, welcome.